Well, here we are. Clydesdale After Dark Live 21.2. We are back and better than ever. And look who's with us, Dex. Back with all with the expert analysis. Like like Jackie Moon and Semi Pro. Yeah, that kind of expert. Like buy my album after the after the game kind of expert. Yeah. So Dex, how did uh uh twenty one point one go for you? Uh so we did Friday Night Lights last week, which was here at CrossFit Tupelo was popping. We had a good time. Um my wife beat me. I saw uh, that big time. She, not, well, not told, I like a little. Well, I told you it, I told you she would she would be good at this one. And she or I don't know if I told y'all, I told several people said out loud she would be good at it. And so her double under is super fast. She can handstand walk for days, even if she's like suffocating. It's like a recovery thing. It's a sick talent she has. But she, um, yeah, came in and did it Sunday. And we trained hard Saturday, so I know she was tired. And, um, yeah, she, she went Hamill, Montana, and she got to the double under. I think she got 89. So in, in true, I've, to, I've told you all the story. Yeah, she got 89 in the 210. It's, she has a sick talent for the open and, like, those skills. I guess wall walks too. So she just, that there's something. Yeah. There's something in there. But I, I got, I finished 21. Uh, I did it one time Friday night. And then Sean Sweeney dry snitched on everybody about standards. And I had to, <laughs> re- <laughs> I sent, I sent my uh, video to Jason that cut off at six minutes. So I probably need to redo it anyway. But I said, hey, man, you think I should redo it? And he's like, well, you, you know, Score's okay, but none of those reps count. I was like, why? And then he sent me the Sean Sweeney thing. And so, redo it. I finished the 21, and I got there a minute faster, and it only got me four more reps. So, that uh, hats off to – man, I, t- I was the most impressed watching Brent Bukowski do it, which I think his, you know, calculated approach and all that stuff is super – very impressive for, like, Chase Ingram loves that stuff because that's his bag. I really want to see you crash and burn. But the way he moved and – it was wildly efficient and more impressive. There was no music, just weird, heavy breathing and some lady yelling out his pace the whole time, which I, you know, that was the most impressive thing I saw of all of them, just because he's a tall guy and, you know, they're all impressive in their own right. But as a, as a lurch Clydesdale myself, he, uh, I appreciate that. So speaking of, of crash and burn, did you watch Craig Ritchie's video of all the fails? Yes. Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's so good at editing, like, the, the movie clips with the stuff. I, I saw one guy do it with, uh, oh, man, what was it? Dodgeball. They edited it with dodgeball, and they put a dodgeball in, hitting the people off the wall. It was great. Yeah, those are – that was I watched that more than once. I was, I was really impressed in uh, when you see people doing that workout and, you know, finishing in a really quick time. It was just so interesting to see how rhythmic and um, – precise their movements were each and every rep you know it's like their first one looked just like their last one in terms of how many steps they were taking what arm they were using first like it was it was really something to see and it just goes to show you too I mean, with a new movement like that you need to be consistent it's like how we all say you know your first lift looks needs to look like your last lift and your setup needs to be the same and you know if you superimpose yourself doing movements they should look the same if you've mastered them and it's just, it's a testament to those folks that can really master that movement in such a short period of time. For sure. And I I mean, I can't remember the last time I did, like we talked about, I've done them, not done volume. So it's, you know, relatively new to everybody at a a certain intensity. And I I, kind of was comparing it. Like you were talking about the steps were really deliberate and same, you know, same spot every time is what my wife will say. Mm -hmm. And watching him, watching Fukowski do it, like I was talking about, it's kind of comparable to, burpee box jump overs where you know but they give you yeah. the old what was the, the whiteboard thing you want to, if you had pain on your feet you want to hit the same spot every time and he did that he i mean he broke off huge chunks on the way to the wall spent no time at the tape tapped it came right back to and i was getting two on the way out like two like a reach and tape tape no no problem on the way out on the way there man if your steps weren't right you just had it, it was way harder if the steps weren't right to get in your rhythm and I will say doing it right, uh, getting both feet to the wall, making the reps count and, you know, to the standard without trying to go too fast, you know, both feet touching made the rhythm a little easier to get. So you know, maybe, yeah, maybe you got punished a little bit for, for not holding the standard on that one. But that was, man, it was so weird. And, and the wild part is watching the people that finished it, you know, the, the top tier kind of stuff. 
I mean, Bukowski finished it. He dropped the rope. He's like, huh, all right. <laughs> like, they were, they were fine. And, I, you know, I watched several people just bacon sizzle like we'd done Fran. And, I mean, it's it's wild to see. Cause that That's a real kind of – that's different. Drop your rope and you're just like, all right, fellas, I'll, it's lunchtime. See you later. Well, uh, Charlie and I both did it twice because we liked it so much. So I, I, need, I need better. your expert advice on this. If you do the first wall walk and you get a no oh, rep, yeah. do you keep going or do you just – out, we're going to start again at another time. Yeah, you mulligan, right? I mean, it, it depends on where you are. You're at Friday Night Lights. We got we to keep it rolling. See? No, nope, it, it was, was Friday Sunday. Night Lights. It was okay. a Sunday. But okay, it was a Sunday, but it was it was the atmosphere of the gym. Sunday everybody afternoon. going. It was, it was the NFL version, Sunday Day yeah. Lights. Yeah. Sunday Day Lights. It was an early game. <laughs> I mean, if that's me, I'm tapping out and I'm going in the next heat. You know, I'm like, no, nope, oh, yeah. I'm good. Yeah, we'll wait. I'll embarrass myself. I'll go crazy. I, I I don't think I've done that like horrible a set of or sets of double unders in forever in a fortnight. Many moons it's been <laughs> since I've been that bad at double unders. And uh, yeah, it was it was different. It was who we thought it was. You know what that coach said? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah not surprised. Yeah. Not surprised. I, had, I did not I see had anybody trouble. Their face. I was gonna say I had trouble getting my hands to the tape because. I typically get into a very hollow position, like a very good gymnastics hollow position. And you could not be in a hollow position and get your feet, you get your hands to that tape. You had to be sort of arched and almost hyperextended with, you know, your chest and belly sort of on the wall. At least for me, the way, the way my angles worked, it was really hard for me to do. Yeah. I think if you're a positional person on that one, you kind of get punished for sure. I also saw people like like kind of the opposite of the coin is is losing tension too early, like reaching for the wall with your hips. Your hands are frozen because now, mm. you know, not only do I have my full load on my arm, but I got the friction of the wall. I got to press up. So I saw a lot of that, too. And, oh, man, that, that was what I, I didn't see as many people get mad at double unders as I did that. It, you know, if I get the saggy crotch to the wall, kind of being lazy, <laughs> the opposite of, of the good position. It's a technical term, Scott, saggy crotch. <laughs> saggy crotch. Uh, yeah, it's a – and I teach at the L1. It's, you know, it's different. Yeah. Uh, but man, I saw more people get mad and cuss about that. Uh, shout out Amy at this gym because she she came and did it yesterday morning while I was training, and man, she was she was giving a hell. But she was not happy if that happened to her. But she kept going. You know, it was cool. It was cool to see some people that maybe may or may not be able to RX some things, like we were talking about. Some scaled athletes can RX that one because that's kind of you know not the I don't want to say punishment like. Greg Glassman used to talk about the three to one double under thing for singles as a punishment. So you learn it faster, not a punishment, but now we know like, well, I've been torturing these people wall walks for handstand pushups for years. And they just, you know, paid the dividends for them on that one. Yep. So here's the punishment for the foundations. Cause I did the foundations version, not going to lie. It was what I needed to do for where my body is right now. And uh, yeah. you know, a jumping Jack has two jumps to everyone. Because <laughs> oh, no. you got to jump out and you got to jump back in, and that's yeah. one. But let's talk about your spot on the leaderboard because I didn't know there was a podcaster leaderboard either. I didn't either. There, that's there right. Apparently, Scott, was God's putting the wood to these people. What place okay. are you in? I'd like. I don't know. I'm 14. They, I know, they started 14. at seven, <laughs> so there's six people above me. All I know is I'm beating a pregnant Nick, Nikki Brazer. Hey, that ain't your fault. That's his fault. Right. Not your fault. Yeah, not your <laughs> fault. Um, yeah, take, you take no mercy, okay? There's no pregnant division in the open. She signed up, okay? <laughs> yeah. She wanted the fault. smoke. She's getting the smoke. That's all she's getting. Now, you, don't, you don't get to ask the flavor of it. The smoke comes. <laughs> when um, it had me ahead of Sean Woodland, he must have, like, not posted a score. Hey, oh, again. Sean is a large man. So Sean was in Ireland at uh like Sean's a large man. And he was in Ireland and I I've I've talked to him like in passing. I don't remember him towering over me or making me feel small. And he sure did it to me there. But um yeah, he's a big dude. I can see that blowing up because I I'm gonna tell you about six, I really had to kind of like hunker down in my brain because I was like you know, some of them, you know, where the work starts. Like, hey, this is the kind of prereq warm up work. Don't blow up. But the, like the workout starts at 30 or whatever. That one started at six for me. I'll be honest. Yeah. I got to about number four. I was like, 
This is not good. This is not good. There's a lot left. But yeah, not too bad. Um, so no no incidents. We're incident free. I yeah, think no so. Incident. I didn't I see mean, anyone I... fall on their head. I, I mean, not disappointed, but like you're talking about that video, I didn't see that here. Uh, I nope. saw some graceful some graceful bailouts. I will say that. <laughs> I saw a tuck and roll. Uh, a stop, drop, and roll, if you will. But uh, and that was the owner. He did that. He's a big fella. Um, all right, prediction. Do we have predictions? Yeah, we got two I, minutes I just want to say, air. first, I just want to say, I could see this one being a repeat. For I say no. Sure. I say no I'm repeats. Also, I'm hedging my bet and guess a repeat every week, so I'm at least right once. Oh, no. So, I mean, sorry. I mean, I picture 21.1 being a repeat in the future, oh. in a future open. Oh, That's yeah, what I meant. Yeah. I can see I'm retesting that one for sure, just because yeah. it was so – because, I mean, I, you know, I thought ahead of time when they announced it, that movement is so off the wall out of just – left field that you would think is something applicable in the open that the leaderboard would be super messed up and, you know, removing maybe the first page, it was that. Yeah. And so, you know, and I think I, I think I saw somebody call it one wide wonders, like see who those people are. But I mean, it, it is very cool for a week for you to be up there. And, you know, I think it, it'll be different. And because it's three weeks, like if you're way down, cause I saw some like, you know, perennial games guys that were pretty far down just for whatever, you know, show it wasn't something you're ready for you know whatever the case may be but it's it's hard to make up like you're not that you're going to be out of the 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 10 percent but man if it if that line was a little closer for some people it'd be an ugly two weeks because you got to be in there just taking your home run hacks Mm -hmm. yeah i'm predicting toast bar and dumbbell snatch okay that's close i had to pick uh, 17 one till it comes up 17 (laughs) one oh the dumbbell snatch oh I picked uh, 13 four, I believe. So 13 something. It is seven minutes, 369 ascending ladder of reps with uh, 135 clean and jerk and toast the bar. Oh, that would be nice. sexy. Okay. Something sexy. Meat. I need, not a meat dish, but something sexy you can feel good about. Yeah. I'm just, I, I'm just betting a, on legs this week. Share screen, share screen. Hopefully, legs. Oh. Well, I did not know Nikki Brazier was pregnant, also. Uh, yeah, she is. Season with a third place finish in the cross it is. 2020. Yeah, that's it. One was one spot better. Both have It's insane to see how good that kid has gotten. But before they face off at Madison, they face 21.2. Get up, get your friends, get ready. It's week two of the 2021 Noble CrossFit Games Open. Still weird to hear that. Yeah, no well, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Open Announcement 21.2, oh, presented God. by the U.S. Army. What's your warrior? Find out more at GoArmy.com. My name is Rory McKernan. I'm here to have some fun. I hope that you guys are, too, because ready or not, week two of the Worldwide Open starts right now. We've got two absolute beasts in the house, Justin Medeiros that and Sam Kwan. Justin, on IG, you said that you were thinking maybe something heavy. Does that mean that you want that to be the case? Man, I think that'd be super fun to hit in front of the crowd here, and uh, it's a beef good test. All right, Sam, you have been in this game for quite some time, but you've never done an open announcement, so it's a different yeah. environment altogether. The fans at home are watching. How are you feeling tonight? I mean, it's definitely a different environment, but once the clock goes three, two, one, go, it's laser focus and it's go time. Okay, both you guys look like you're already kind of rearing to go, so yeah, let's go. Let, let's make this thing official with the announcement. Oh, we're going fast. All right. All right, here we go. <gasps> Allow Tell me us, Davis. to introduce you to a test, oh, a God. test that has fixed reps and ascending reps, a test that includes a box, a test Repeat. that both these young and men some have conducted before, Repeat. a test that many of you have also done before, a Clean. test that introduced the dumbbell to the cross open. Called it. 21.2 Damn, is a test once known as 17.1. Look at you, Scott! Look at you, Scott. 15 burpee box jump over. 20, 15. 30, 15. 40, 15. 50, 15. Mm. 21.2 is for time. 21.2 has a 20 minute time cap. Let's all get swept away by the joy that is 21.2. 
Uh, I don't know if it's better to not know or to know, but we should all. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Pain train. Pain I feel like train. we already told all our 17.1 stories last week. <laughs> Man, I, that was my, it is one of my favorite dumbbell workouts I've done, but because I was, I said I was in like spiteful mode that year. Um, so warm up wise for that one, we're going to do that first. Yeah. Yep. The yeah is going in here. Like yeah. Usher music video. Uh, you can't beat it, man. Class timeless. Um, warm up wise, obviously big hinge pattern here. It's going to be a lot of that. It's going to be ascending ladder. So we're going 10 up to 50. So you definitely want to jack that heart rate before you get into the workout. You don't want the first time your heart rate spikes to be in the 10 and then the first set of burpees. I would spend some time first jack your heart rate. I want to get my glutes warm. I want to definitely warm up my hinge pattern. My favorite way to do that is some unilateral work. I like single arm kettlebell swings, some things like that to get you in the hinge and kind of getting that rotation to where my hips are still centered, kind of that disassociation so I can get that good whip. And then all it's going to be is, is uh, greasing the groove for this. We've done this workout before. You know how it makes you feel. So kind of try to stay ahead of that. Look at your old score. Get very spiteful. Try to beat that. Work on your hand switch. I have to look at the standard because I know last time they tried to change it to the old Magic Man. Magic. You know, wasn't that the thing? Yep. Yeah. That's a good – that's a deep reference. Um, yeah, so make sure you're switching in front of your face. Obviously, you know, last week was a kind of weird standard thing. Most people had to redo it. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I would say the paint on the feet thing, very applicable this week. Make sure on your burpee box jumps. If I wonder if step-ups are going to be legal. I know last year – when you could you had to jump up if it was RX and you could step down. Is that the case mm -hmm. on the – I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. So I wonder, I wonder if that will change. Um, but you go with the stroke that works best for you and keeps you consistent through your 15, right? You want the transition to be fast. You want to get right back into the dumbbell, whether you're trying to shoot for unbroken. If you're going to break, plan that ahead of time so the transition can be short and the rest can be short and sweet. Get your breath. It's a break in tension, not a break for you to catch your breath completely. And so I think that's going to be it, consistent footwork with your burpees consistent transitions and game plan, and then you really keeping a gear in your pocket for that last set of 15 burpees. Maybe you coast the first five and you bring it home for the last 10 because then it's time to bake and sizzle. Yeah. This is ugly. This one's not – I mean, it's fun. This is, this is a fun one to drag race. So, yeah. You can get real caught up in this one in the, the 10, 15, to 20. I think this is the, the kind of reference I gave earlier for you know when the workout starts. I think this workout starts at 30. You, you kind of feel good. You got a good groove. Got your two sets of dumbbells down, two sets of burpees. And then you get dump trucked about 15, 20 into that set of 30. And then it's kind of, you know, what's in the tank after that. So game plan is going to be key for this one, especially, you know, you are, you should start sweaty. I'm a big warm-up guy. I think if you're you're not sweaty when you start this one, you're probably uh, you're going to pay the price when you get to that, that line of, hey, now we're working out. Yeah. And yeah, everybody's I think I, so yeah most people that's be good yeah i think i made that mistake last week because i wasn't sweaty enough before i started because i actually the bear crawls got better for me i was a little smoother with them later in the workout than i was at the beginning cat may say say something different but that's how it felt in my head <laughs> no for sure <laughs> hey you were my judge on this when when i did in 17. Yeah, I know, because you went off the side of the box on one of your uh, jump overs. Oh, hey. snap. I accept, I accept a no rep, and then I fix it, and I Oh, recover. you didn't complain. I just scared the shit out of me when you went off the side of the box. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> I mean, whatever. It's fine. I still finished then. I hope I can still finish this time. Was that that was the first dumbbell workout. So, I mean, you know, yes. everybody's going to have dumbbells now. Here's the problem, Dex. If Tuesday... I did a hundred dumbbell snatches. They're warm. Very warm. Right. Yeah, my hamstrings are still lit. You... Ma'am, let's talk about your recovery, your hydration, your sleep. <laughs> let's talk about it. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I've not done anything crazy hamstring this week. I started doing some accessory stuff to mess around with just some new school of thought on the uh, kind of knees over toes stuff. But yeah, I'm I'm excited for this one. There's a uh, guy in this gym. Um, he, 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 he whooped me pretty good on this one and then he let me hear about it. So we're going to race. Yeah. Well, two quick things, and this both pertain to Charlie one, thank God it's not a dumbbell thruster 
that I'm not going to be concussed this week. Is that where I knock myself out? Yeah. And then oh. two, how would Travis William do this? Because that's how Charlie's going to do this workout. Let's go. <laughs> Grip it yeah. and rip it. Yeah. Wait, so are you are you in Texas? No. 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 Oh, okay. No, he's say. just a he's just a foot on the gas pedal and and ride it until the it comes off the rails. Which is usually yeah, about three or four reps in. <laughs> that's, now that's a problem. That's, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we gotta yeah, that's good. And, and that's like I don't know. I played football, so that was always my appeal, right? We ran no huddle. I yep. lived that life. Let's push yep. the pace. But um, yeah, so that's always been my thing for pacing and stuff like that. I um this is a fun one to watch too, just to get to see who is there's a lot of different ways you could do it. I like to see what works for different body types, different athletes and stuff like that. Like, are you going to step? Do you hop off the backside of the box? Do you step off the box? I know that I step every burpee and I will hop up, turn and step down the backside of the box. Just kind of, that's, that's my sweet rhythm. Uh, yeah. I want, I'd be interested to see if any standards change. Ooh, good point. Cause I, just, I did the I'm trying to read. Ref- I'm trying to refresh right. all that and I can't, it's not coming up yet. Like they always, there's always a delay on that, but they did yeah. tape the floor. Yeah, so it looks like line. you still have to do that center line. I like that. I don't think that's crazy. I wonder if they are, cause didn't they say you RX was not able to step burpees last time we did them. Correct. Correct. Right. Right. Oh, that makes it a different workout. Yeah. And I saw, I saw some version. I don't know whether it was, a foundations version or a scaled version that was um, hang snatches and broad jump, burpee broad jump. Yeah. Ugh. That's got to be foundations. Yeah. I don't know, burpee broad jump. That'd be horrible. I watched the high rocks thing where they were doing that. And that is, that that part of the event looked horrible. We've done that as a warm up. Yeah. Yeah. That coach doesn't like oh. you. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> it's probably Amy. Yeah, probably. Hey. Was. Hey. <laughs> That's a big Those thing are, around boxes, boxes around here, burpee, broad jump. And people are always like, I'm never broad jumping ever <laughs> if I don't have to. You can tell who played sports like, you know, that yeah. had a good strength and conditioning coach who can do a broad jump and land in the old squat trying to max out the distance. Mm-hmm. And then even when you say, hey, we're not doing that. You're gonna, Uncle Rico is going to send it. And I'm that guy. Yeah, yep. we're, gonna, we're, we're doing the pro day broad jump, showing what's up. I'm jumping a whole mat and a half. Let's see what's up. Yep. All right, All right. I've, I've got some information Butters. here on the workout. Okay. Um, the scaled version is a lighter dumbbell, um, 20 inch box for both males and females and step ups are permitted for scaled. Um, Dex, what do you think about going, do you go on broken on these snatches or what? I think so. uh, There are different kinds of athletes, right? For the hinge. Um, if your hinge pattern is really solid, your, your connection, like, you know, your hamstrings and butt cheeks blow up before your back then maybe you shoot for you shoot for a big set. I don't, I don't think it's a bad idea to break early on this and save some for the end and, and kind of play it by feel. Uh, but, that would, you know, yeah, quant oh. sprint. He's stepping up. Oh, are they going? Yeah. He's stepping up on the box or out, oh, out of the burpee? On the burpee. Yeah, so, so Quant's doing the same stroke I'll be doing. Yeah. I will probably land a little lower and bounce out of the squad off the box. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I, th- I think you manage it. Obviously, it's not a grip workout. It's going to be your – lungs trying to pop out of your nostrils and you managing your low back fatigue so i I think you know planning to break if that's going to be your thing you just really either have somebody count you down hey three two one pick it up or you know you take your deep breath if you're really disciplined i am not i would have to have somebody count down because i will take that three two one out into about 45 seconds easy just three (sighs) yeah i'll take that three two one way out for myself Oh, they are going. Yeah. Maderos. Maderos. Yeah, Maderos with the wrestling background. This should be – this is a cash money workout for him. But also, that kid, he, he won uh, the Filthy 150 when we were out there. He is imp- – his, imp- his capacity is impressive. I mean, he is just – he'll go, go. Which, I mean, you know, he was top five in the world, so that makes a lot of sense. But the first time I had seen him, I was – and that soft box, let's not play. That thing's shifty. Okay, I can't believe – yeah, that's impressive. That thing hadn't tipped yet. No scare me. Yeah, just so we know too, the foundations workout is snatches and burpees. Just regular? No, it's a target or nope. Hmm. I like that. I've been I really my favorite thing about 
you know, about this open, like I said, is, is them taking it all the way down. I think that that is very cool because it's easy to tell somebody, hey, sign up for the open, bro. We're doing it. And they're like, well, I got RX or scaled. If I can't even do scaled yet, I, man, that, that makes me so happy. And there is no Something standard. For- there's there's no standard about when to switch the dumbbell. Zero mention. Huh. Does it have to be behind your head? It doesn't say anything about it'll, switching. They'll say, it'll say, you know, it'll, uh, locked out overhead over the middle of your body. I'm sure that that's what it'll be. Well, Madero is switching above his head. Yeah, there's yeah. no, uh, that's always been such a hard thing to, to judge too. And no one actually does it correctly yeah. if, you know, so maybe they got rid of it because there's no mention of it here in the standard. I think people, yeah, the, the two heads on the ground and then making sure you locked out overhead. I think that's plenty for this. Because I mean, yeah. I, honestly, if you're, you know, like I think there's some people that start CrossFit and that's their natural thing is to switch it like that because you're just, you know, your hand eyes really good, cool. Some people have to switch on the ground because that's not their thing. It's like a legitimate skill. But I mean, I don't, I don't think it gives you any kind of crazy advantage or, you know, unfair advantage. I think you, you have the skill or you don't and you can develop it. But, you know, and I don't think that's cheating or anything like that because like, I'm the kind of, I'm the athlete that needs a rhythm and that. You know, I'm I'm gonna do a set, rest short, do a set, guys. Yeah, singles, like especially on the stuff, kill me just because I'll hang out and I can get in a good breathing rhythm on things like this. So, I think that standard was put into place for a safety perspective too, and I think now people realize that it was not not necessary. Let's talk about gritting your teeth when people spike dumbbells from the top. Just dive nope. bomb. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a good time for that. <laughs> nope, that's a rule. Can't do that. Oh yeah, I firmly believe that. I, I tell every, I ask everybody if they bought it. Did you buy that? Which I need to get over. Yeah, it's it's like a it's a weird jerk reaction. But yeah, this is this pretty is gonna pretty, be fun. Uh, pretty standard here, guys. Everything else looks to be the same in terms of you can you know you can step up out of the burpee. Um, yeah, looks good. I did just do this with single arm thrusters, so I'm kind of excited to do the the normal version of it. Yeah, I'm, I never got to d- redo it, and I would have liked to, so now I get to do it again. Yeah, and, and uh, to be honest, it's, it's one you can redo. I don't think the, you know, I think the, the, maybe the pride tax of it, if you, you feel like you tapped out a little early and, and put the dumbbell down or, you know, I something can't to that believe. effect. I cannot believe it's a repeat. I did not think they would do repeat with it being so. I, I didn't think they repeat they didn't, that they one. I mean, they were set up. This is this is a low-hanging fruit repeat one, for sure. I mean. Yeah, I've, I've one, definitely. One dumbbell. I've definitely repeated this one actually like on a Saturday, like in the garage because I, it's easy equipment. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's not, I mean, you know, on a normal day, you know, get the body warm and go. There's not, yeah. there's no real crazy danger here. I mean, load's not crazy significant. I mean, you know, it's obviously there's, there's some positional work to be taught and, and context to be given to that. But yeah, I mean, it, it's one where it's a, it's a grinder and you're, you're able to cut loose. I want to see Justin's, what I got. That was Justin so far ahead. His burpees, he's popping out, like doing the surfboard hop and okay. jumping on, jumping on, jumping off. I think that's the, I mean, I don't want to say the difference. You know, some people's rep speed will stay fast through this. But, I mean, I think the you can make up a lot of time because 15 is a good amount of range on a burpee box jump over. So, I mean, if you're pay, you're able to keep the, the hop both feet kind of and do the lateral jump onto the box and then hop off and you're facing already, I mean, that's a – that's a lot of seconds to be made up over that many reps. Was it, was it end up being 75, 70 something? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say like 15 seconds around potentially or yeah. more. Yeah. Cause that step so, down, man, that leg, that leg pulling it off the top of the box gets real opportunity for you to hang out for a second. This is a really fun one to do with a large crowd also like Friday night lights is about to be popping. Now there will need to be some gap in those heats because there's going to be some people maybe, maybe doing the bacon sizzle a little longer. Maybe the trash cans have a little, a little chunky gentle. <laughs> yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. So what's the cap on this? 20 minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. I want to say I did 10, 23 last time. Something like that. Well, I was just happy with my 18. No, look, this was a huge, I told you spiteful. I had gotten whooped by burpees the year before and I love dumbbell snatches. And so this was like, and I think the burpee box jump is like good enough to slow, you know, now taking out the top, whatever, but like there's an athletic element to it. I'm, I'm okay with that. I think it's a, it's a good rhythm to get into. Like, I mean, I'm a pretty good creature of rhythm for stuff like that. So I think those type of people, it's a, it's a good burpee workout. And I was very surprised I did well on this one. I was. Sam is not, not a- even bending. 
I, I mean, not even using his legs at all. Did you see <laughs> yeah. that? Yeah. yeah, he was like straight up muscle snatching that. My God. Well, he, yeah, he, th- <laughs> <laughs> he throws hay bills around all day or something like that, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't he live on a farm still? My man's new not, and married. He's in Boston now. Now he's in, now oh. he's in Boston with the... You think he's met Ben yet? Crew. Dude. <laughs> Uh, you guys, yeah, they, uh, I just want to say maybe. I could be Justin's mom, okay? Well, you don't have to say that. Yeah. I mean, that's true. I could be. My wife texted me and said, Oh, good, the one where I puked my guts up. <laughs> <laughs> how, so, how many reps will she beat you by this time? She won't beat me on this one. She, uh, yeah, she, uh, I say that. Who knows, man? <laughs> Who knows? She might go, she might go full crazy. Um, but she will send it. I do know that. Um, and she, her posterior chain, she's just really tough, man. Like they're there. I think they're, you know, you, you say people got it or they don't. If she was not in residency and things like that, I'd be terrified to see where she could have taken her, her competitive fitness. I feel like I say that a lot, but it's, man, it's, as, you know, coach hat on, husband hat off. It would have been, you know, can't be mad at her for being a doctor, but boy, she, she could have taken it. She, I think she could have made it to the games for sure with a little more experience. He is crushing Sam. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Wow. Wait a minute. I feel like he just did three. <laughs> and then paused. It's the What's video. he doing? Well, I'm, it's the so video. I mentioned, uh, We're okay. so a little bit. The, uh, the, well, the logistics of it, how they make them set it up too, right? Like, I know when I do it, I'll have that dumbbell even with the box. It'll be a one-step transition to the box into the burpee, right? So there's no extra steps. Nope. You know, again, to the, the pain on the feet thing, but I'm always interested to see how different their setup is at the announcement. What's, you know, kind of forced on them versus what they would choose to set up. But I feel like, you know, people get wild with, with open transitions, doing wall balls over the rower and stuff like that. So, yeah. Now, Dex, will you, when you step down, obviously you pivot and step down, right? Step down backwards. Do you go mm-hmm. side to side so that you're not spinning in a circle or do you spin in a circle? I will go down. I almost always step up left foot. I'll swing my right foot and kind of tap it on the ground, and then I bounce. I land on the box about at a 90 in a squat, and I'll kind of booty bounce off my heels, turn onto my left foot, and step down my right foot. So, like, you see how Justin, he's always facing, like, the same direction when he's coming oh, yeah. out of the box? Are I you the same direction, change. or are you back and forth? I'm the same direction. I'm going to get super, super, super weird dizzy. But I don't get as dizzy on these as I do uh, – like bar face and burpees trying to go fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, just because, you know, if you clip that toe, like there is almost no saving it. You're, Look at his you know, burpees. Jeez. He was a wrestler, man. I tell you, and Chandler Smith, same way. Wrestlers are different for stuff like this. Which I'm excited for my man to be in Boston doing crazy things with that team, too. He's, he's enjoyed working out with Sam and Katrin and, and their atmosphere. Oh, he there. done. 10 one Wow, dude. He is still wow. fit. Uh, <laughs> he turns still out still fit. fit. <laughs> turns out he still got it, folks. It's not a fluke. <laughs> that kid's insane. Yeah, and he's a rogue athlete now. What a year for him. I yeah. hope he never cuts. I hope he never cuts his hair. What a trademark. <laughs> when he he was what wearing no bulls, is that a sign of something to come? He's already a no bull athlete. I think. Is he? I think so. Dang. I want to say that was like right after the game. I mean, you know, they they hunt for you after you do well. Uh, so I want, I want to say he signed that contract. I don't know if he has a manager or anything, but I'm watching. I mean, I follow him on social media, and we'll, you know, chop it up a little bit on the DMs for funny stuff. But he, uh, yeah, I want to say he's a noble athlete now. I don't know. I, Sam's a Nike athlete. I want to, I want to, I think that's for sure. But um, yeah, I don't know because I don't think does he have no bulls on. Sam looks. Sam looks like he has uh, Metcons on. Yeah, Sam's an Nike yeah. athlete. Which is funny, being it with Bergeron. Man, I tell you what, look, that guy, the more I learn about that and how many kind of pots he has on the stove, I mean, fuel for fire, hand to Noble, I guess. I mean, he, I, I remember the year they launched Noble. It was at the East Coast Championship that Reebok was sponsoring, and they had that, like, cool, you know, event-specific shoe they had at Waterpalooza that year, too. Uh, but, yeah, and he launched it, and that was kind of the – bridge is burned yeah so we all know what it is we all yeah, done yeah. it before bird man hand Same. rub 
Yeah, no Birdman hand rub. Yeah, it's a big sin. Big sin. Uh, I think you move as fast as you can move well for as long as you can move well, and you keep your rest short. I think that's a good recipe for this one. And just don't fall over the box. Golden rule. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So good luck, guys. Scott, Thank you. we got to move up this podcast to leaderboard. I'm about to be in the DM. You're about to be in the DMs, getting at Scott going or at uh, Sean and then the fellas going crazy. <laughs> okay, I I'm not good with pressure. I didn't even know I mean, it existed. I mean, dumbbell. Yeah. No, I'm excited. No, dude, I'm so glad you posted. I, I think I my uh, my day now almost revolves around when you post the positive thing, and then now I need like <laughs> we're gonna do leaderboard smack talk, and I'll do it on your behalf. I'll be like on Key and Peel. Where they have the victor stand behind Obama and say all the angry <laughs> yeah. stuff. I'll be your victor. Yeah, I'll all be right. your victor. It'll be good. Well, I'll lo- I look forward to seeing what you do on this one because I do think you'll kill this one. This is like right in your wheelhouse. I do like the kill. fact that your wife beat you pretty badly on the last one. I like the fact that she really took it easy on the smack talk around the house. So that's that was nice. Right that. Yeah, it was because I don't. We don't. She normally does not. She'll let me have it, which is all. <laughs> It's our thing. She, uh, yeah, I've been taking those whoopings for a while. So my, you know, I kind of got a callous, callous time for that. So, but, uh, yeah, it's gonna be exciting guys. I'm yeah, excited. Yeah. I'm gonna be popping for this. It's gonna be great. Poppin'. Yeah. When are you guys doing this? I'm doing it tomorrow at 10 AM. Looks like I'm doing, I'm doing it, it tomorrow, tomorrow at six, six thirty PM. I'm doing it. I got to find a dumbbell. <laughs> I'll go, you know what? I might go live on the Instagrams and do it. This is a good one. Do it. I'll yeah, do might that. As well. I'll do that. Yeah. Go on mine or, Whatever, we'll figure it out. Or uh, yeah, or hook fun. up with me and, and I'll do a live commentary as you're doing it. <laughs> oh, d- yes. You I'll go. You go live and I'll join yours. We'll do it. Because Marilyn, I'll give Marilyn my phone too, so she can hold the camera on me and y'all can talk smack. It'll be great. Yeah, talk smack. She'll talk smack. You'll talk very encouraging. Oh life yes, course. great job. <laughs> you're doing great. Life, I'll, I'll life talk smack to words, you. Scott. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. We're gonna go at six thirty. Uh, me and uh, two fellas. We're, we're doing the affiliate thing, so I'm in second place right now. Uh, nice. So there's redemption to be had. So, yeah, it's going to be a good time. I'm excited. Cool. So tomorrow night at 6.30? 6.30 Central. So 7.30 my time. <laughs> yeah, 7.30 your time. Yeah, gotcha. Amy's playing around with emojis. I like that. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, oh yeah, you, let me le- you let me learn. Y'all are in trouble. Look at it. Here, oh, here, here you go, Dex. Here you go, Dex. Oh, look, Dex, look. <laughs> Is that a, that's not a mid. That's a good one. Oh, that's yeah, a good oh one. yeah, that's not a my, mid. My wife's got the satin pair. Okay. Don't worry about it. But I, I, well, I had the off-whites. I had the off-whites on last week. I'm going to let you get me. I'm I'm in a real dad shoe this week. We're oh, look Air at Max, you. Air Max down. My kids got these. We you got to go walk around the neighborhood. Next thing I you know, next week you'll be in your new balances. No, no. Look, the Yeezy <laughs> 350s dangerous. are my Yeezy 350s are my new balance. I, I have firm stance on the new balance shoes. And then and then Jack Harlow got a New Balance deal, so maybe I maybe you know maybe I can see it. <laughs> I like Jack Harlow. I worked in Louisville. Um, yeah, I'm excited. We'll go live. We'll be cool. All right, cool. Sounds like a plan. All right, so everybody, and look out Char- for that. And then Charlie and goes week life. three. Oh yeah, there you go. Charlie week three. There you go. The what? Love it. You're going week <laughs> three live. That's right. <laughs> That's it. I'll Let's be doing a rep on your first rep. I'll do it like, right after, <laughs> right as this thing is announced. Perfect. <laughs> Charlie's going to race the athletes. Yeah. We'll right. <laughs> all right, all right guys. Well, thanks sleep. for joining us tonight. All right. Uh, we'll get this uploaded so that you all can watch it tonight and see you next week. Clydesdale right. after dark. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Bye.